those white New Balance sneakers, lovingly referred to as the epitome of ugly shoe excellence, have emerged from the depths of fashion shame and into the spotlight. New Balance sneakers might be known as the ultimate in dad shoes, but the brand is now worn by celebrities and even has collaborations with high-end fashion brands. In the vast landscape of shoe options, these once mocked sneakers have gone from its back garden beginnings to collecting $4 billion in annual revenue. This is the surprising untold truth of New Balance. In the bustling city of Boston 110 years ago, a British migrant named William J. Riley founded the New Balance Arch Support Company. Little did he know that his brand would become a beacon of daddish factoids and anecdotes filled with quirky stories that would captivate the hearts of shoe enthusiasts worldwide. It all began when Riley had a eureka moment while observing chickens gallivanting in his backyard. He noticed that their three-toed feet gave them the ultimate balance and support. Inspired by his feathered revelation, he created three-pronged arch supports, which would later become the signature feature of New Balance shoes. And so, the company's name was born, paying homage to the perfect equilibrium of those chicken feet. In the early days, New Balance sold these arch supports by going door to door, peddling their innovative product for a mere $5. Adjusted for inflation, that's a whopping $66 today, equivalent to a brand new pair of shoes at the time. But New Balance had a principle they refused to budge on. They would never sacrifice quality for affordability. This philosophy remains deeply ingrained in the company's ethos even to this day. In a world where many shoe companies have outsourced their manufacturing to far-flung corners of the globe, New Balance stands proudly as one of the few that retains factories on American soil. With manufacturing facilities in both Massachusetts and Maine, as well as the United Kingdom, they continue to champion the belief that shoes made in the USA possess unparalleled quality. Chris Davis, the company's strategic business manager, confidently declared in an interview with GQ, the materials are better, we have a better workforce, and overall, it's a much better product. New Balance's executives and brand ambassadors are known for delivering press sound bites that harken back to a golden age when everything was made in the good old USA. This nostalgic tone resonates deeply with consumers as they yearn for a connection to Americana heritage. It is this steadfast refusal to outsource, combined with their focus on heritage, quality, and community, that has catapulted New Balance into the realms of a timeless American brand with an enduring appeal both at home and overseas. And let's not forget the company's unwavering commitment to innovation and performance-driven hardware. New Balance has seamlessly blended its nostalgic charm with cutting-edge technology, ensuring that its shoes not only embody Americana heritage, but also deliver top-notch performance for athletes and sneaker enthusiasts alike. While some may question the brand's aesthetic choices, it's hard to deny New Balance's impressive track record in the technical department. New Balance has been on a relentless quest to incorporate various technologies into its shoes. From the absorb rubber foam cushioning system that provides optimal comfort, to the shorelace cord blend that ensures your shoelaces never untie themselves mid-run. And let's not forget the Gore-Tex linings that keep water damage at bay. These may not be the sexiest selling points, but they undeniably serve a functional purpose. To add to their dad appeal, New Balance was the first shoe company to address the needs of customers with broader and flatter feet. Classic dad traits, right? It's as if the brand was tailor-made for an older demographic. But New Balance didn't stop there. Oh no, instead of relying on well-known athletes and sports figures for endorsements, they created Ma and Pa Balance, an elderly proto-hipster couple who embodied the brand's cross-generational appeal. In their quest to stand out, New Balance decided to forego catchy names for their sneakers and opted for numbers instead. This unique approach fostered loyalty to New Balance shoes rather than a specific make and model. But don't expect wild stampedes or campouts for the latest releases. The average age of New Balance's consumers steadily climbs past the 40-year mark. Children found little in common with Ma and Pa, who rocked their bright blue 320s with panache. After holding out for years, New Balance finally caved and signed professional basketball player James Worthy to a lucrative endorsement deal worth $1 million. The brand's first ad campaign revolved around the clever slogan slash pun, Trustworthy. Unfortunately, this tagline proved ironic, 
as Worthy was caught soliciting prostitutes soon after. After a period of turning inward, New Balance decided to shake things up by bringing on board Mark Cavanaugh, a former marketing executive from the mighty Nike. And boy, did Cavanaugh have a trick up his sleeve. In 2009, he spearheaded a revolutionary endorsement deal that would make heads spin. Cavanaugh started by approaching 380 baseball players. 30% of them were paid in good old cash, a sweet deal. Another 50% of players received free shoes and store credit. And for the remaining 20%, they got to wear the shoes for free. It's like a sneaker paradise. But there was a catch for those who signed the dotted line. They had to participate in charitable activities, lending their star power to noble causes. And in return, New Balance committed to donating funds to the foundation of their choice. A win-win situation that made the world a slightly better place, one step at a time. Nowadays, New Balance proudly boasts sponsorship deals with over 500 MLB players, making it rain endorsements left and right. They've expanded their reach to include world-class footballers like Bakayu Saka and Raheem Sterling. The Olympic track and field arena also finds itself graced with New Balance's presence as they support exceptional athletes in their pursuit of gold. Also, New Balance didn't want to miss out on the youth-centric market either. That's where their numeric skate team comes into play. With riders like Ardo Sari, PJ Ladd, and Marquise Henry rocking the brand shoes while tearing up the skate parks. Talk about a youth injection into their athletic endorsement lineup. And just when you thought New Balance had covered all the basics, they decided to up their game in the style department. Collaborations and quick strikes with trendy menswear designers and outlets became the game's name. From Boston's Concepts and the suave J. Crew to the stylish United Arrows and Sons, New Balance cranked up the style dial, attracting buyers below 40. Vibrant colors, premium materials, and relevant cultural references transformed their silhouettes into fashion statements that turned heads on the streets. With these bold moves, New Balance diverted attention from its historically skewed demographics. It was a brand reborn, adapting to the times and proving that even a heritage company can reinvent itself and find new avenues of success. Once considered the go-to brand for dads across America, New Balance underwent a remarkable transformation over the past decade. It shed its reputation for having an ugly and clunky aesthetic, embracing a fashion-forward identity of its own. The brand's revenue soared to new heights, leaving larger rivals like Nike and Adidas in its wake. CEO Joe Preston confidently predicts that New Balance's revenue could reach a staggering $10 billion in just a few years. The brand's newfound success is primarily attributed to its evolution into a lifestyle and fashion powerhouse. With a much cooler and trendier image, New Balance has become a favorite not only among dads, but also celebrities and star athletes alike. To solidify its fashion-forward status, New Balance embarked on collaborations with renowned designers like Salehi Bembury, Jound, and Ame Leandor. These partnerships have proven wildly successful, propelling New Balance's growth for four consecutive years on the resale site StockX. In fact, between 2021 and 2022 alone, the brand witnessed a remarkable 128% jump in sales. Today, it's not unusual to spot New Balance sneakers gracing the feet of A-list celebrities. Star athletes like NBA's Kawhi Leonard and Jamal Murray and MLB players Shohei Otani and Francisco Lindor proudly sport the brand. So the dad shoe finds its answer in New Balance's unyielding focus on performance and functionality, its affinity for the older demographic, and its unorthodox approach to advertising. They may not follow the traditional endorsement route, but they have carved out a unique space in the sneaker world, one comfortable step at a time.